Good morning, it's Wednesday the 16th of June. I'm speaking to you today from the St Andrews Prayer Shelter. This space began as a nativity scene at Christmas and it's been home since then to various prayer initiatives. Prayers for the pandemic, the weaker prayer for Christian unity and the Try Praying campaign. This week though, we have a special guest in our prayer shelter because Paddington has joined us. I grew up with the Paddington stories, the books by Michael Bond and the animated television series. And then more recently, I delighted in the two Paddington movies, which have really brought the little bear to life. Paddington is a bear from Peru. He's an orphan who travels a long way to a new country to try and find a new family and make his way in the world. He has all sorts of adventures, but it's at its heart, it's a story about being a stranger in a strange land, about rejection and welcome, about loss and about hope. And along the way, there are plenty of funny moments. One of my favourites is when Paddington uses electric toothbrushes to clean out his ears. So why is Paddington spending this week living in our prayer shelter? Well, this is International Refugee Week. It's a week for us to remember the millions of people who have no permanent place to call home, about half of whom are children. Paddington is a refugee, and in the story he's an orphan through an earthquake, and then his elderly aunt can no longer care for him, so he's sent to England with a suitcase and a label that says, please look after this bear. Michael Bond's story was partly inspired by Jewish children, who fled the Nazis during the Second World War and arrived on the kinder transport with similar suitcases and labels. In our world today, many parents and guardians are desperate for their children to have better lives, better than living with warfare, persecution or natural disaster which faces so much of our world. Many children become refugees, some with their families, some alone. Most will have few possessions, perhaps just one rucksack of essential items. One such story is of a 17-year-old called Iqbal, who escaped from the warring province of Kunduz in northern Afghanistan. He travelled hundreds of miles, dodging bullets along the way, first to Iran, then Turkey, then to Lesbos, where he's planning what journey to take next. He has one rucksack, one change of clothes, essential toiletries and bandages, a small amount of money, a phone and various international SIM cards. In the story, Paddington was fortunate to find a safe home, people who loved him and cared for him. I hope that Iqbal and many others like him will also find places of welcome and safety. They carry so little, while most of us have so much. This week we pray for refugees and support them in our giving and our actions. May we work for justice and freedom, things that are on God's heart. Let us pray. Loving God, we pray for the many in our world who have no place to call home, no place of safety and refuge. May we work to make our country, our communities, our church, places of welcome and hospitality for all. We've been blessed with so much. May we find blessing in sharing it. Amen. And if you live local to Skipton, you might want to visit our prayer shelter and leave a message of hope for asylum seekers. Thank you for listening today.